Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I am going to share with you about the joint probability distribution, and that is for the discrete random variable function of two variables. Joint means when we have a two random variable associated. So first, I would like to share with you that uh, which book I am following for the notation purpose. It is probability and statistic for engineering and scientist. So before switching over to some question which are based on the joint probability distribution let us first recall what does it mean uh, the notation which is used for the joint probability distribution function is f of x y so here x and y are two random variables and we want to find the probability associated with it jointly and we will see it is also known as uh, probability mass function so um, the point first which is to be taken care is that all the value of f of, f of x y either equals to 0 or more than 0 so it is always positive or equals to 0 second thing is when we add all the cases of f of x y that means total probability should be equals to 1 and this f of x y is actually notation for the probability of x value equals to x and y value equals to y and if any specific region we want to calculate the probability we will find the sum of all the x and y under that a so let us first begin with the first question so here in this example number one uh, they have given us a probability distribution function formula which is equals to c modulo it's not uh, it's mod sorry c mod x minus y and some value of x are given and y's are given so in this question we want to find out this unknown c so what is the step first let us make a table because it is a discrete data so for discrete data it is better to create the distribution uh, this PDF in the tabular form so here what I am going to do is I'll write all the X entry in this side and all the Y's here so when we see what are the X value in this case so they gave me X is equals to minus 2 0 and 2 and the values of Y are minus 2 and 3 so these are the values which I am going to write in this box right so uh, let us first see one by one that uh, what are the values for these six box so first this value when you see uh, I am calculating f of minus 2 and y is also minus 2 so in this case what will be the answer so this is a function so c is unknown and this is a mod x value is minus 2 there is a minus because formula is c mod x minus y and uh, this value is also minus 2 so when we simplify we are getting mod of minus 2 plus 2 and we know that minus 2 plus 2 inside mod is 0 so we are getting 0 value here so this is 0 similarly let us calculate the second one so the second one is x value so let us first say take for this first column so here again I am taking with same minus 2 but now x is a y is equals to 3 so it means the function is c minus 2 minus y means minus 3 and we know that here minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 but we know that mod of negative number is equals to positive if a is positive here so I will get 5c so in this mod when you are writing number outside everything is positive so we get a 5c over here right and similarly we can find out the next one next one is I'll directly so here I want to find out this is c x value is equals to 0 minus y value is equals to minus 2 and when we will see that this is c is equals to mod of 2 and c is equals to mod of 2 is 2c here and now see the next one uh, what is the next one with x0 y3 so c times x0 minus y3 so we are getting c mod minus 3 c mod minus 3 is 3c so this becomes 3c and similarly we can go for the next value where now I'm going to take x with different values of y so I am filling my columns first so here c x is 2 minus with this y means I want this point to be filled so x2 y minus 2 so here y minus 2 and when we will see so 2 
this minus and in the formula also minus so inside the mod first it will become 4 and when we simplify this become 4c so we're getting 4c here now the last point is there what is that uh, for this point what I want this is done c x is equals to 2 minus y is equals to 3 so we are getting c first we will simplify inside and finally when we want to get out of the mod value then we will see it become positive so it becomes minus 1 become plus 1 and we get a c here now we calculated all the values the next step is let us say what is a row total and what is a column total right here i am writing column total here i did row total so when i say what is a column total so 0 sorry first i'll see the row total here 0 plus 2c plus 4 so it is 6c and here 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 9 so this is 9c and in the same manner i am taking the column total so 0 plus 5 is 5c 2 plus 3 is 5c 4 plus 1 is 5c so what we have done uh, so far we have just calculated the value of row total and we know that when we are adding this row it is 9 plus uh, 6 is 15 C and this side also 5 plus 5 so both should be same and this actually this corner value is sum of f of x y both side when we calculate it, and the answer is equals to 1 so uh, whenever there is any unknown in the question and it is a joint PDF given as so what we can do we simplify it enter all the entry in terms of C and once you are done with the question this corner which is a total sum and total column that value is equals to total probability and in this case this is total probability is coming out to be 15 C so this 15 C value should be equals to 1 so C is equals to 1 by 15 so in this manner we can calculate it and then we will plug in over here and the question is done